certain mechanisms between, let's say, the U.S. government and this the Silicon Valley ecosystem, right? That 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 Shield is also an active part of now. That is helping increase this, or uh, let's say, like make the alignment more um, efficient or more, let's say, uh, two way. Are there certain mechanisms that are working well there? Well, I think the the mechanism that's working well is the realization that. Uh, we the military needs these technologies, and there's more of a uh, mindset if you watch how the military is experimenting these technologies to get feedback directly from the warfighter. So our historical process would have been very detached: the people who are acquiring the system, the people who are specifying what the requirements are, and the warfighter. Those are really being brought together, especially through an experimentation and prototyping process, because now the technology is available as soon as I. Uh, think about the need as opposed to I might have an idea that now I need to take uh, from the drawing board to a defense prime to get and develop it and then we can start testing and I mean that's a very long process the F-35 35 uh, 20 years in design so how am I going to get something current if I try and design it 20 years before so that's all happening now on a much faster basically Silicon Valley style approach which was called agile development that's all now starting to bleed into what we're doing in the military. So that's that's bringing a lot more alignment. The recognition of the need, the money being supplied to new entrepreneurs and companies, and this uh, concept of let's start getting warfighter feedback and experimenting and prototyping. And that's led to entirely new companies and business models that are bringing capability as a service uh, to the military. So the military doesn't have to buy everything in the case of satellite imagery, what if I just buy the data? I don't need to own and operate Absolutely. the satellite. And I, I'm, I'm also going to go out on a limb and say that the, you know, you are an example of that kind of mechanism also, right? That now the more people that move between government and Silicon Valley, right? Uh, recently, I know that some of the folks uh, from some of these uh, interesting sort of gro fast growing uh, defense tech firms have been uh, uh, given roles in the army, um, of course, people like you who worked in DIU have now, let's say, moved out to Silicon Valley. And of course, that also accelerates this kind of exchange of ideas and the, the alignment, I would think. That's right. We've got probably record number of veterans. I haven't seen anything quantitative on this, but I can't believe the number of vets who are now interested in starting businesses. Yeah. Uh, so we're seeing, uh, you know, the end users who've been there and felt the need saying, I can go solve that. I see the technology has progressed to the point where I can solve that in a much better fashion than maybe I had access to when I was in the military. And those people are taking those thoughts and putting them into action.